So hello, hello and good morning to all of you and a warm welcome to our webinar on Effortless Color. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for the cost inconveniences for the planned session on October 4, when we were facing some technical issues. But uh, now we are happy that everything functions again normally and that you can hear and see us. So Effortless Color is part of our Spark Inspiration program, and it's already our fourth webinar this year after Inclusive Beauty, Skinification of Hair, and Acne Unfiltered. So this webinar is dedicated to makeup and cosmetics, which has received a big upswing in the market after the pandemic, as we all know. So in the next uh, around 45 minutes, you will get insights into the latest trends in cosmetics, all around multifunctional, convenient, and hybrid products. You will learn about several edgy formulations that we hope will inspire you in your new product developments. So here with me is my colleague, Maeva Abdulhadi. She will lead you through the main part of today's presentation. Um, for those who do not yet know Maeva, um, she is our technical manager for personal care in EMEA Advantage. She has over 12 years of technical experience, not only with personal care ingredients, but also with formulations. So um, she has been the driving force in the development of the formulations that you will see in a few minutes. My name is Silvia Ziewold. I'm the marketing director EMEA um, Advantage. I will give you the introduction to the topic of effortless color. But um, before we start, a few organizational topics. Uh, at the end of the presentation, we have 10 minutes for Q&A. So feel free uh, to type in your questions in the navigation bar um, of this webinar. Um, and we are also happy to provide you with handouts like this presentation that also includes some backup information as well as our product brochure. So now let's start with the topic. Okay. So our effortless color formulation concept comprises eight elevated color cosmetic products, and we have put a focus on face, eyes, and lips. So the formulations were developed with current and future trends in mind. So in, in particular, we wanted to address the demand for multifunctional and hybrid products. The, uh, the formulations feature advanced technologies and ingredients, as it's our aim to provide you high-performing solutions that uh, hopefully inspire you for your new product developments. So let's have a snapshot at the current trends that we witness. So one trend that we see is all about convenience. So as busier lifestyles pick back up, consumers turn to products that are quick and easy to use. Uh, multifunctional products are particularly uh, of interest. But we also see hybrid products uh, are very appealing to consumers. So this is all about color cosmetics with ingredients that claim to be good for the skin, especially for sp sensitive skin is high in demand. And uh, through social media, um, we have seen that makeup products have gone viral over the past year. So many consumers like sharing products online with unique and sensorial textures. So let's... Um, have a closer look um, to the consumer insights for face makeup. So in face makeup, we see um, the demand of consumers for multifunctional and convenient products, like for instance, um, a blush that you can use on your lips as well as on your cheeks. Or we have seen that um, you can use lip gloss not only on your lips, but also on the upper eye area for shine. Or they are, for instance, two-in-one products for mascara, where um, it's not only for eyelashes, but also for eyebrows to be used. Or um, hybrid foundations uh, become very popular that also contain UV protection as well as anti-aging actives. Um, also, new formats are becoming very interesting. So, for instance, stick formats became very popular, like uh, foundations in stick format or blusher in stick format. So with regards to eye makeup, so here we also see multifunctional uses of interest. So according to Mintel, 86% of consumers agree that easy to use products is a priority for them. 
um, as well as hybrid products. So cosmetics with ingredients that provide additional benefits are interesting. So these could be, for instance, um, a mascara that contains active ingredients that help to uh, that help the growth of eyelashes or that help to straighten eyelashes. Uh, or um, there is the example of creamy eyeshadows, for example, that contain hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin. And with regard to lip products, um, here we see products with unique and sensorial textures and long-lasting performance becoming very popular. So we see um, lipsticks with bold colors and with a satin or velvet feeling. Um, lip glosses with instant plumping effect are very um, popular. Or lipsticks with cooling and warming sensations we are seeing on the market. Um, but there are also hybrid products um, like lipsticks with moisturizing ingredients to really provide more care for your lips. And inspired by all these trends, we have developed eight effortless color formulations. So the products and formulations that you will now see have all been developed by Maeva together with a formulator team from all over the world uh, um, Advantage. But now let's have a deep dive into them. And I'm happy to hand over to Maeva. So thank you, Sylvia, and good morning, everyone. So now I'm going to introduce you to the eight formulations that our global teams have developed uh, for this new effortless color kit. So this kit aims at um, being easy to use, multifunctional, and with high performance ingredients for face, for eyes, and for lips, uh, in order to emphasize with the trends that Sylvia just introduced to you. So the first one is the hydrating tinted oil. This is a biphase with an oily phase and a powder phase which sediment at the bottom over time. So the product needs to be shaken before use to well homogenize the texture. The liquid phase is made of a combination of liquid emollients from our portfolio that we have carefully selected to provide a silky and comfortable texture. So first we have the DW Jojoba Colorless Organic. So this is a Jojoba oil. This is a liquid wax sister which has a similar composition as human sebum. So it has a very high affinity with the skin. Basically, this is a biomimetic emollient. And due to this unique composition, it has multiple skincare benefits, including anti-aging, skin radiance improvement, moisturization, and also skin microbiome rebalancing. In addition, it doesn't have any greasy feeling. It penetrates very quickly within the skin and it leaves a comfortable film after penetration. We have also used a combination of two GKMNDA emollients, so GKMNDA CC at uh, 10% and the GKMNDA LC at 13%. And this combination provides extreme lightness and glide to the formulation. The reason why we have used a combination instead of only one ingredient is that we really wanted to get the perfect balance between lightness and comfort. Liponet GCK, uh, which is the capric capitriglyceride, is used as a cost-effective solvent to help dispersing pigments. And we have also included the distinctive emulipid PACC, which is a natural emulsifier. But here in this formulation, we don't use it as an emulsifier. We have included it to help distributing the pigment on the skin more evenly. Finally, we have added the pomegranate acid oil at 2%, um, and due to its composition in fatty acid, it provides antioxidant benefits to the skin, so it will help the skin to protect from environmental aggressors over time. Then we have the phase 3, which has a pigment, the phase 4, which consists in fillers and sensory powders to provide a mattifying effect. And finally, we included two active ingredients. So the first one is Liponet Jojoba 20 that we are, have added at 2%. This is one of our Jojoba esters derived from Jojoba oil. And it is going to limit the transepidermal water loss to reduce the skin redness while boosting the skin moisturization over time. So this is a perfect ingredient um, suitable for sensitive skin especially. Stratafix AOS is the second active ingredient of this formulation. 
and it is an optimized blend of vegetable extract. So I will give more details further in the presentation about this ingredient. But for now, um, just for you to know that this is a potent antioxidant complex, and it will help mitigate the skin damages due to environmental stresses like blue light or pollution. So at the end, this tinted oil has a very elegant texture with a buildable and natural finish, as you can appreciate on the video. So here's the hero ingredient are the GKM NDA emollients. So um, NDA stands for naturally derived alkane, and this range consists in three liquid emollients and one crystal solid. So GKM NDA LC, uh, the C912 alkane, the GKM NDA CC, which is a C13 14 alken and the GKMNDA5, which is the C1519 alken, are uh, liquid. And the GKMNDA FC, the C1821 alken, is a solid with a low melting point. So it is going to melt um, as soon as it is applied on the skin. All of them are 100% naturally derived and they are Cosmos approved. And each has a unique sensory profile. So, for example, GKMNDA LC um, is the lightest emollient from the range, um, while the GKMNDA LC, which has a solid form, will, will, is the one which will have the, the better fin forming properties. In principle, all of them serve as natural silicone alternative and also mineral oil alternative, such as isododecane, especially the GKMNDA LC, which is the most volatile ing ingredient from this range. The second product is a sheer tinted moisturizer with mineral based SPF that is designed to help maximizing protection against UV rays. So the tinted zinc sheet is a water and oil emulsion, which is made with a natural emulsifier. And the oily phase consists in three liquid emollients that we have selected for their benefits in sun care application. So first we have the GKM TDS uh, that we have added at 8%. This is a 3 decil salicylate and it feels really lightweight on the skin. Then we have the liponate NEB, which is the C1215 alkyl benzoate that many of you are familiar with, as it is one of the most popular solvents used in sun care formulations due to its excellent UV filter dispersion and solubilization properties. And we did include the GKM NDA LC, so again, the C912 alkane. As I mentioned before, this is the lightest emollient from the GKM NDA range. It has a very evanescent touch. So as soon as you apply it on the skin, it evaporates quickly and it leaves a powdery after fin. So in this formulation especially, it will help reducing the greasiness while improving the glide. And the combination of these three emollients ensures a perfect mineral filter distribution on the skin with a soft filling, so it will contribute to the high SPF level. Phase two is a water phase, so it consists in deionized water, glycerin to boost the skin moisturization, um, sodium chloride um, to help for stabilizing the emulsion, and we have the superfood Fambiotic G which is one of our fermentation-based active ingredients. And this one is going to detoxify skin cells over time while supporting the skin microbiome. So the tinted zinc sheet is dedicated to your bad skin, which face environmental stressors on a daily basis, such as UV rays, blue light, and pollution. And it will act as a shield against all these types of aggressors. This product can be worn either alone after applying the moisturizer, or it can be used as a primer before applying a foundation. And another benefit is that despite the high percentage of zinc oxide, our formulation doesn't leave the skin dry. This is clearly the opposite. The skin feels very comfortable and extremely soft, and it doesn't shine over time. So Superfood Fermbiotic G is part of the Fermbiotic platform that we have launched early this year at In Cosmetics. So this platform is made of microbiome supporting fermented complexes, which are derived from vegetable extract and microorganism. And they are inspired by things like veganism or marine plant life and also superfood extract. 
and the, the end attenancing the overall health of the skin, of the hair, and the scalp through microorganism induced fermentation. So, in our portfolio, we have four different active ingredients. The first one is the marine firmbiotic L, which will boost the skin cells' vitality. We have the legume firmbiotic G, that will stimulate the skin mechanism for hydration. We have the superfood firmbiotic G, which is derived from superfood extract, such as avocado extract. And as it has a high uh, antioxidant properties, uh, it will detoxify skin cells. And the last one is Adaptogen Pambiotic S, and this one uh, will limit the skin aging by boosting the skin collagen content. So each of them acts as postbiotic, as they don't contain any alive microorganism. Indeed, during the manufacturing process, at the end of the manufacturing process, we break the microorganism, but we keep all of their beneficial components. So um, the firmbiotic series will support the skin microbiome over time. The next formulation is the Fresh Canvas Multi-Use Concealer. So as you can see, we wanted this kit to be inclusive, so the products have been developed in a variety of shades. So this formulation is a concealer, so it is highly loaded with pigments, as it aims at masking dark circles and skin imperfection to give the skin an even skin tone. When looking at this formulation, this is a water and oil emulsion, and the base of it is coming from the combination of Liponet CCC, the Coco Capulet Caprate, with Jojoba Esters 15, which is another Jojoba Esters from our range. And the combination helps dispersing pigments with a silky feeling and a semi matte finish. Both emollients are from natural origin and they are Cosmos approved. And they have excellent weighting properties, so they allow an even pigment distribution on the skin. We have also included the GKMDA HC, which is the solid, the solid um, grade from the GKMDA range. And it carries a low melting point, so it is going to melt upon the skin during application while providing extreme softness. So here we have used it at 4%. And it brings comfort, glide, and extreme softness to the skin during and after application. We wanted this concealer to not only covering imperfection, but also to provide skincare benefits. So then we have included our Stratafix AOS PF technology. It is going to protect the sensitive eye contour area against environmental stressors in order to limit uh, the premature aging. So I will give more details in the next slide. Um, but the wall texture blends perfectly into skin tone. The crucial issue here um, is the high pigment loading, especially in black iron oxide, which can be very difficult to disperse in some formulation. Uh, but again, the combination of liponate CCC and jojoba esters 15 really help dispersing these mineral pigments. And then the final product doesn't leave any gray appearance, especially on dark skin. So focusing on Stratafix AOSPF, this is a naturally derived active ingredient, which is made of four sustainably sourced oil extracts. We have the purple gromwell extract, a microalgae extract, a green tea extract, and a licorice root extract. And thanks to its optimized composition, Stratafix AOSPF is going to limit the expression of the Caspas-1, which is a key protein responsible for starting the processes of cellular inflammation. And by limiting the cellular inflammation, it leads to reducing the induced skin aging. So this is an innovative pathway to address the skin aging, actually. We have both in vitro and ex vivo data, which demonstrate its mode of action. And in terms of formulation, the Stratafix AOSPF is an, a no-soluble active ingredient. And it has a natural red color, so it can give a natural rosy appearance to the formulations, which is a benefit, especially today that a lot of formulators try to move away from organic colorant to color their formulation. So moving to the next slide, the two next products are multifunctional formulations. 
So the first one is the color scalp trio. This is a multifunctional stick with extreme screaminess and a soft skin feel, which is designed for lips, eyelids, and cheeks. So these kind of products are becoming very popular nowadays as the format is very convenient for application and also it perfectly fit with the minimalist trend. So when looking at the formulation details, we did include three ingredients for the structure. First, we have the Hohobaista 70 and our Lipover GTB along with Canoba wax. So Lipover GTB is the tree behenin. This is a natural vegetable wax which contributes a lot to that creamy sensation while bringing structure to the stick. The Jojoba Ester 70 is basically our Jojoba wax, and it aims at replacing beeswax in any dose formulations. It adds flexibility and substantivity to the stick, which is not too brittle at the end. And unlike other vegetable waxes, such as Canoba wax or Candelilla wax, our Jojoba Ester 70 provides glide to stick formulations, and when combined with other height melting point wax, it ensures excellent structure to the stick. This formula contains another type of Jojoba derivatives, which is the Isohoba 35. So this is a Jojoba butter with a low melting point of 35 degrees, so very close to the body temperature. Therefore, it helps the texture to melt upon application, while providing extreme creaminess without leaving any greasiness after penetration. We have also included in this formulation two vegetable oils rich in omega-6 and omega-9. Um, so we have the apricot canal oil and the rosehip oil, which are rich in fatty acids. Apricot oil is good for mature and sensitive skin, and rosehip oil will support the skin cells regeneration while fighting against free radicals. And finally, the K-Active technology here is our active BP trilurinic acid A, which will provide both hydration and anti-aging benefits. So BP trilurinic acid technology is actually an optimized blend of three molecular weight of hyaluronic acid, which is designed to provide the whole spectrum of activity of this well-known molecule. So our active includes a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, which will support the skin barrier repair and which will boost skin moisturization. It also contains a mid molecular weight hyaluronic acid that will penetrate deeper into the stratum corneum uh, to stimulate corneocyte differentiation and to protect the skin's natural moisturizing factor. And BP hyaluronic acid technology also contains a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid that will penetrate even deeper into the epidermis to induce production of native hyaluronic acid and also to aid in proliferation of the keratinocytes. So due to this composition, BP hyaluronic acid is going to fight um, against skin dryness by boosting hydration and moisture levels and also by limiting the transepidermal water loss. In our portfolio, we offer three grades. The first, the BP trilonic acid solution, which is a water-based liquid designed for emulsion and water-based applications such as toner or serum. We have the BP trilonic acid powder, which is designed for water-based application. Um, this is a more concentrated form, and it can also be used in powder forms. And finally, we have the BP trilonic acid A, which is designed for anhydrous application. And this is the one that we have used to develop the previous formulation. Next, we have the All Over Glow Blusher. This is the second formulation designed for multi purposes, as it can be used on the eyes, on the cheek to promote healthy looking skin, or it can also be used over the lip balm to give a color to the lips. This is a liquid water in oil emulsion. So when you got it on the skin, you feel the oily phase first. Um, so the ingredients have to be carefully selected because they will be the first one to be felt by the consumer. So here the texture is very creamy upon application and it is due to three ingredients. First, we have the 12% of Maxi Gloss Plus. 
So MaxiGloss Plus is a node shading agent with fin forming properties, and it will provide bouncy and cushion feeling to the formulation. We have included 3% of whole by star 70, which will act as structuring agent to provide thickness and creaminess to the formulation as well. And we have the GKM and DF5, the C1519 alkane. Um, so again, one of the, the emollients from the GKM and DF range. And this one is a very nice emollient that will significantly improve the glide with a light afterfill. Finally, we have also included the Lipenet Robanat film, uh, which is a natural film forming agent derived from jojoba oil. And it will help for the long lasting properties while limiting the transepidermal water loss. Then we have the water phase, and it includes the adaptogen from Biotic S. So again, as we have seen before, this active will help boosting the skin collagen content while supporting the skin microbiome. So the whole formulation provides a sheer tint to the skin and it blends very easily with every skin tone without leaving any heavy nor greasy afterfill. So during the previous uh, slide, I have presented different uh, ingredients uh, derived from jojoba, including the jojoba star 70 and the liponet jojoba net film. And all of them are part of our platform called Sensitive. So with this platform, we bring together our expertise with jojoba derivatives and formulation to offer natural and sensorial solutions to change the sensory of the formulations. So in Sense ID, we offer multiple jojoba derivatives for a variety of applications. So for example, we have the jojoba aqua 120, which is a water-soluble jojoba oil that will provide emolliency to cleansing formulation like shower gel or shampoo, but also to leave on formulations such as serum products. And all of this while keeping the transparency. The Liponet Urbanet film is the natural film forming agent, uh, and it will boost the skin moisturization over time. Then we have our two jojoba butters, the Isohoba 35 and the Isohoba 50, and they will provide high creaminess in both stick and in emulsions. And finally, we have our jojoba esters with jojoba ester 15, which is the liquid one that will provide silkiness to the formulation. The liponet jojoba 20, which has a past form and which is designed um, for sensitive skin as it will boost the skin moisturization and it will also reduce the transepidermal water loss. And the jojoba ester 70, which is our vegan wax, um, which, which serve as alternative to beeswax. So each ingredient from this platform provides a unique sensory to the formulation, and they can be used either alone or in combination to leverage the texture with efficacy. So the next formulation, the hydrating satin lipstick, is a perfect example of how our Sense ID platform can support your formulation development. So hydrating satin lipstick is a rich and creamy lipstick, which includes three jojoba derivatives. First, we have the Jojoba Ester 70, again, our vegan solution to replace beeswax. And it is used at 10% in combination with Canuba wax and Candelilla wax um, to provide structure, glide, and creaminess to the stick. We have included the Liponet Jojoba 20, which is another Jojoba esters with a melting point of 45 degrees, and it will protect the lips from dehydration over time. And DW Jojoba Golden Organic, which is uh, our jojoba oil with the golden color, will provide intense hydration and repair to the lips. We have also incorporated the GKM and DF5 at 12%, and combined with Liponet CCC, it provides glides and excellent spreadability of the stick on the lips. And again, we added the oil soluble version of BP3 ruinic acid, so the BP3 ruinic acid A that we have seen previously. So finally, this lipstick is rich and it provides comfort to the lips um, while repairing dry lips over time uh, to provide a satin finish.
So next formulation is the Dream Velvet li Lipstick. This is a matte liquid lipstick with a high naturality content. So the formulation features GKMND SCC, so the C1314 Alken that we have used at 24%. And it allows the texture to glide easily upon the lips during application. The hero ingredient here is the oleosyl LC, which is an extension of our GKMNDA technology. So basically, oleosyl LC is an elastomer gel dispersed in GKMNDA LC, and it will provide all the sensory benefits of a silicone elastomer gel, but with a natural origin content of 90%. We have also added our LiPover GTB, so again, the Tripehenin at 8% um, for its structural benefits, along with Isohoba 50, which is our second Jojoba butter. And due to its melting point of 50 degrees, it will help improving the payoff while bringing creaminess. Also, another benefit is that Isohoba 50 will leave a matte uh, uh, film on the lips. And finally, we have included again the BP3 Ruronic Acid A to hydrate and give a plumping effect to the lips. So this texture has an amazing sensory. During the application, it delivers the right amount of product on the lips, and it is extremely soft and velvety. Also, the coverage is buildable, so it can be customized depending on the desired finish. And the last thing is that, unlike traditional matte liquid lipstick, uh, this one leaves the lips very comfortable and the lips don't feel dry after application. So, Oleosil series, as I just said, is an extension of our GKM and DA technology. So, these ingredients are unique elastomer gels dispersed in our naturally derived alkane emollients to offer a solution with uh, NOI of 90%. So, in our portfolio, we offer two grades the oleosyl LC, which is a dimetic on cross polymer 3 dispersed in GKMNDA LC, and the oleosyl CC, which is a dimetic on cross polymer 3 dispersed in the GKMNDA CC. And these two gels have similar properties as traditional silicone elastomer. So in skincare, they will provide extreme smoothness and glide. In makeup, they significantly enhance the sensory and they provide lightness with a powdery afterfeel. So we really recommend to use them, especially in foundation and also in primer type textures. And they can also be used in hair care application to conditions and provide hair shine. So again, the goal of this solution is really to help you, the formulators reaching a high natural origin index without overlooking the sensory. And our last formulation is the Plush Fruity Glaze. This is a high gloss, sheer gloss color lip gloss that has an instant plumping effect. And in this formulation, we wanted to have a very high gloss with a nice deposit on the lips and a cushion filling. So for this, we have used Liponate TDTM, the 3 Decil 3 Meditate at 6.5%, um, along with Jojoba Glaze HVBF, which is a Jojoba derived oily gelling agent. And it will contribute to the thin forming properties. We have also included two vegetable oils, the grapeseed oil and the pomegranate seed oil that will protect the lips from uh, the environmental aggressors. And the key technology here is Instaplump LQ, which will give the instant plumping effect to the lips. So Instaplump LQ is an advanced limb plumping liquid that delivers instant lip volumizing and also an instant warming effect. So upon application, it will instantly stimulate the lips to help create a fuller and a firmer look. And this technology also helps smooth the appearance of lip lines while reducing the lip product feathering. And the result typically lasts for approximately from two to four hours, but this can vary depending on the type of formulation, also depending on the composition and the use level. In our portfolio, we offer a second version of this active, which is called Instaplump VA, 
Um, it can also be used in lip formulations, but the Instap MPA will not give clear formulation. So this was the eight formulations that we have developed for our effort test color kit. As you have noticed, our goal was um, to provide insights for multiple applications while emphasizing the trends. I mean multifunctional, hybrid, and easy to use product with our different solutions. So the firm biotic series, which perfectly meets the fermentation based ingredient trends. Uh, we have also use the GKMNDA and Oleosil series, which serve as silicon alternatives, the Sense ID to meet naturality and sustainability, and finally, our active solutions suitable for makeup applications, such as Stratafix AOSPF, BP3 Ruronic Acid technology, and Instaplum technology. So samples are available upon request in case you would like to try this product. So do not hesitate to send your request to me or your um, direct rep sales representative. Okay, thank you very much, Maeva, for the summary and of course for presenting the various cosmetic formulations. I think they very nicely address the topics of multifunctional, convenient and hybrid products. Um, we would now um, like to open the Q&A session. So um, I have already received a few questions along the presentation, but please feel free also to type in your questions uh, right now uh, in the webinar menu bar, uh, or of course you can also send them later to us. So let's start with um, the few quest uh, the, the first questions that we received. So um, I think Maeva, when you presented the the Sculpt Trio stick, um, there was a question coming in for the BP Trioluronic Acid A product. So the question here is, what is the form of BP Trioluronic Acid A? Okay, so BP Trioluronic Acid A has a past form, so it is very easy to use in formulation because you just need to add it in your anhydrous formulation. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you, Maeva. Uh, another question we have is, um, can we formulate clear formulations with Instaplump? Yes, so with Instaplump LQ, um, yes, but this is not the case with Instaplump VA. Okay, okay, great. And along with uh, Instaplump, there was also a question coming in. So what is the percentage uh, of use of this ingredient? So the minimum percentage of use um, is 4%, but we recommend to use it at 8%. Um, this is the percentage we use in our formulation. And uh, you can go up to 20%. But then okay. it really depends on the formulation and the composition. Okay, yeah, thank you, Maeva. Um, there's another question I have uh, related to the jojoba um, ingredients. So the question here is, does the iso jojoba butter crystallize in formulation like um, shea, shea butter does it, for example? So no, they don't. Um, actually, this is something that we have noticed uh, in our lab. Our iso jojoba butters, uh, either 35 or uh, 50, they don't recrystallize that as uh, the shea butter can do, for example. Okay, yeah, this is of course a great advantage when formulating with these iso, but iso jojoba butters. Um, so I don't see any more questions coming from the audience. So uh, Maeva, thank you very much for your insights. Um, to our audience, um, thank you very much for your questions and, uh, and of course, for attending the webinar. Um, if you have further comments or questions afterwards, um, yeah, please feel free to reach out to Maeva or myself. So um, Maeva contact details, you see it right now here on the page. Um, it's time for us to say goodbye. We wish you all a lot of success in your company's new color cosmetic project. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.